everyone. My name is Frank, musician, photographer here in the Midwest, and the time lapse you just saw of capturing lightning, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's dive right in and look at the camera settings. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, a DSLR. You're going to need an intervalometer. Your first thing you want to do is have all your settings on manual. So how do we do that on the? This is a Sony A6300, and let's check the manual settings. So what we want to do, you see this wheel on the top? You just want to make sure that that's on M. All right, so what do we do next? The next thing we want to do is set our set our aperture. In this case, I'm using the Canon 24 millimeter. It's a f2.8, which is the widest you can go. So you want to open up your lens to the widest it can go, so f2.8. The next thing you want to do is you want to go right here, and you see that 10 right there? That is your length of time that you're going to have the opening or exposure, right? How do you change that? Okay, so here's this wheel, and this wheel here, as you turn it, it's gonna change that value, right? So what we wanna do to capture the lightning, you wanna have it open for 10 seconds. So we wanna go here, scroll until you get to the 10. So now that's set. You see the 10 with the two little dashes? Okay. The other thing we wanna do is ISO, you wanna bring that down to its lowest. So you want to make sure that it's 100 and how do you change the ISO or well, you're just going to tap on that the little screen opens up and you just bring it you know if you have it up just put it at 100 like that enter it so now that it's 100 okay so those are the settings guys now if you happen to have a lens that is uh, manual you can change the aperture manually or you can change it with the wheel that's on top this wheel here if you turn that wheel it'll change your aperture so for capturing lightning you want to have it open as wide as you can so the 24 millimeter f 2.8 that's the widest it can go all right so that's part one of the settings with the Sony so just to recap Make sure it's on manual. Here are your settings. 10 seconds. ISO 100. All right. That's it for, for this part. Now let's get into how to connect the intervalometer. Okay, now for part two, let me show you how to set up the intervalometer. So the second piece of equipment you're going to need is the intervalometer. And this is how you, you're going to hook it up. All right. So you're going to find a hot shoe mount which is right on top a6300 and we're going to add the receiver right now i'm using the olan intervalometer and you're going to attach the receiver right to the top like that you know, tighten it up just like that all right so you can see it okay so now that 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 now that that's on there Next thing to do is you want to attach the cord to the camera. So where do you attach the cord? Okay, so we're going to open up this compartment here, right? And make sure you can see. You see, uh, the first one is going to be for microphone. The second one is HDMI. And then the one that says multi, that's where you want to connect your intervalometer. You're going to connect it just like this. Okay, so now once that's in, this part goes into the receiver. And you're going to connect this. It's very important to make sure you get the uh, intervalometer that works exactly with your camera. So this is the one that works exactly for the Sony A6300. All right, so once you have that connected, let's turn this on. So you're just going to hold it. You see how it's going to blink green? That means it's ready to go. And now here is the intervalometer and let's turn that on what I like about this one it has an on off switch so all right so now it lights up and let me show you I mean I, I'm gonna put it in a photograph too so you can see what the settings are but for a 10 second exposure to, to capture lightning you want to take it all the way to see where it says interval see the little line underneath there and you're going to hit set and you're going to scroll over to that and for 10 seconds you want to see you want to give it a little bit more time other than the 10 seconds so I used to do 13 seconds that way it exposes for 10 
you know, give it enough time, and then it's going to snap another photo after 13. And now it's set. Now, very important down here, for the, see the, the little dash under the one, you want to want to set that you want to set this to it says two little dashes that means it's infinite that means you control when you want the time lapse to stop all right so these are my settings for the time lapse you just saw I'm gonna put up on the screen right now just to show you exactly what the numbers are and once that's uh, ready to go uh, let me turn it back on so Leave it on the so once again 13 then you want to have this little number here on the dashes that means you stop it when you're ready so you're going to need at least 200 or 300 photographs so you're going to be letting it fire off into the storm for about 200 photos to 300 photos for like the best results and you want to make sure that uh, you're pointing towards where you see the lightning now you don't want to do this outdoors uh, if you do just be very careful i'm not saying you should I don't think it's a good idea, but if you are outdoors, make sure you have a place to run to for cover for the rain and then potential that you might get hit by lightning. That's dangerous. So the, the time lapse you just saw with the lightning, I did that indoors. And so I was safe and then I just let the camera do its thing. And then after an hour, I just came back to it and then I edited it. All right. So if you want to see how I edit a time lapse, go check out my other videos. So this is just how I do my settings. All right, guys, I hope you guys found this useful. I'll see you guys on another video. And if you have another way of doing time lapse other than this way, let me know in the comments too. If you found value in this, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment too. That'll be nice. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.